As we start today, I'm holding up my teaching tool. For the people way in the back, tell me, this is what? A cross. This is a cross. Now listen, I think sometimes when you see something a lot of times, sometimes you start to forget what it even is about or what it means. Is that true, moms and dads? Sometimes when you see something quite often, you almost even look right through it. Boys and girls, help me. If somebody were to ask you is about the cross, what would you say? The cross was, Jesus, yeah, where Jesus, where Jesus died. That's a, that's a very good answer. It's where Jesus died. Now, I want to say something to you today that maybe you haven't thought about. Now, listen, Shh. the cross was a way that they put people to death. This was not a pleasant thing. This was a terrible thing. It was really painful. It was torture. And a person was humiliated when they were killed on the cross. But listen, what I want to say today is this. Is it possible the cross, besides being an instrument of death, could also be a bridge? Could it be a bridge? Yeah. Okay. Boys and girls, here's what I want to think. I have you think about it with me. There's two different beams in a cross. One goes which way? Uh -huh. Up and down, up and down. Now listen, the cross is a bridge because it brings us close to God. It brings God down to us, and it brings us up to God. How many of you have ever seen a famous picture of two hands coming together? This is in the Sistine Chapel. Have you seen this picture of two hands coming together and grabbing? The cross is a bridge that brings us together with God. But listen to this. There's another beam, not just up and down, but what's this beam? Horizontal. Horizontal. Yeah. And what does that beam bring us close to? What's the bridge to there? Yeah. The two hands, right. Whose hands would they be? Listen, the cross is a bridge because it doesn't just bring us together with God, but it brings us together with each other, or at least it's supposed to. Now listen, I know there are lots of people in the world that carry grudges. You know what a grudge is? When somebody says, I don't like you, you hurt me, you did something bad, that's a grudge. That's a grudge. But listen, the cross was meant to be a, a bridge that has us leave our grudges behind so that we can forgive people. We can be, here's a big word for you, we can be reconciled. That means brought back together. How many of you have ever been to a family reunion? Do you, do you know that word? Reunion, coming together, being reunited. The cross is a bridge that reunites us with one another. All right? Boys and girls, next time you see a cross, think about it. It's a bridge. A bridge that brings us closer to who? God. And it brings us closer to who? God. Other people. All right, let's pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you again today for this bridge of the cross. We thank you for the incredible price you paid, but you brought us together. For that, we praise you and thank you. And let all the children of God this morning say...